Um, your boy Sincere with Matt. We doing movie reviews. Um, we gonna start off with South Central. It is a urban film, crime drama film that came out in 1992. Go ahead, y'all research on it. We gonna talk about the good, the bad, the real, and the funny of this movie. So starting off, man, what was good? Who was some of the best characters in the movies for you, Matt? Um, favorite character? I would say a lot of the favorite is OG Bobby Johnson. Right, I uh, agree. But uh, I also found interest in uh, Buddha, the man he had met <laughs> in up. prison. Shut the fuck up, Buddha. <laughs> yeah. He's your favorite character? He's one of the OG Bobby Johnson is, but he comes in second. All right, so why you have Bobby and why you have Buddha? Because uh, Bobby, the prediction is uh, in the movie where he, uh, not he did his wrong, but he came out of prison trying to do right, you know, not for himself, but for the most part, his son, to get his son back, who himself went into the system. So I respect that. I respect it. Yeah. Um, why you have Buddha one of your favorite characters? Huh? Why you have Buddha as one of your favorite characters? <laughs> because in the scene, I mean, for no like serious reason, but it's just funny a scene in the movie where Aryan Brotherhood, uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, uh, OG Bobby Johnson, like old owed a debt to the Aryan Brotherhood. So he, the Aryan Brotherhood, like, basically had him do chores and all that. So, um... Now don't get shy now, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You sound like Eddie Murphy. I'm gonna go ahead and you come back, man. So I'm gonna say uh, the good, the good characters I like in the movie. Of course, I'm going to say OG Bobby Johnson. I think he stayed 10 toes down throughout the movie. Um, he was loyal to his girl, even though she was out, you know, doing things with Jenny Lamb. Uh, he was loyal to Ray Ray. He was loyal to the Deuce crew. I mean, he when he got caught up, he could have snitched. He didn't snitch. You know what I'm saying? He stayed 10 toes down. He did his little, you know, his sentence, his bed. And he also was a good father, man. He kind of changed his life for his son, though he did have some influences and some help and that kind of stuff like that. But I'm going to say Bobby Johnson was a good character and the actor did a good job of showing the motions in that, that part. Uh, for my second favorite character, good character, I'll go with, uh, I don't know her name. Oh, Nurse Shelley. Nurse Shelley was dope. I think, like, you know, she overdid her job. I'm sure she wasn't getting paid a lot back oh, in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, yeah, she she yeah. Yeah. She got them all the shell, you know what I'm saying? Got them playing hunky ball. And she showed that mother, motherly figure that uh, my man's needed, J Rock, whatever his name was. So she was a, those were my two all stars of the movie right there. I like those two. Okay. All right. Now we gonna go with the bat. Yeah. All right, yeah. man. Who the who the worst two characters in this movie that you? I mean, the movie dope. It's a classic. But who's your worst two characters? I'll have to say. Uh... What was my, I see, I don't know his name, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name, Bear? <laughs> <laughs> he was, in my opinion, like, he's pointless. Like, he shouldn't even been in the movie. <laughs> Like, hey. I don't know, I always thought that when I watched it. Hey, he was the muscle, man. He was, he, he, he was the muscle, yeah. But it was just like, he had no words. In the movie, <laughs> so it's like, anybody could have, yeah, he probably got paid good. Hey, they could have threw me in there as Barry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looked like a bear, yeah. Hey, funny, but, yeah. Uh, and you know what I'm saying, like, just... <laughs> it was pointless. It's like literally pointless on the movie. So I agree. I agree. That's funny. And foremost, him and us. Uh, honestly, out the whole movie, like he was the only pointless one that I. Like, he was just there around. Damn, he was in there in every scene. He was the muscle <laughs> man. He was the driver. He was driving Ray Ray around, and he was the muscle. Yeah, but. you could at least gave him a couple. Uh, he had to talk, man. Yeah, uh, I guess, but I just didn't see the 
point and have them around though. All right, let me. Uh, if I had to pick, I'm, I'm off rip. I'm gonna pick yeah. uh, Ray Ray. Yeah. Ray Ray for me, man. He was. He didn't. He didn't seem like a gangster to me. Nothing like was like you look at Ray Ray. He don't have no intimidation. Like I'd be more nervous around Bobby Johnson than I would Ray Ray. Ray Ray looked like I don't know, man. He just looked lame. Um, and he had like some weak leadership skills. He was good at manipulating his crew and stuff and making this team like you know my father and OG Bobby Johnson father back in the days. It is this like nobody listening to you, man. Shut up. And he was selfish. I mean, I, I, on the other hand, though, too, though, he was holding his crew down, though. No, nah, because if that's that was, I'm going to tell you why. If OG Bobby Johnson was more loyal to Ray Ray than Ray Ray was to him. They didn't like, well, they didn't show it at least, but Ray Ray didn't, uh, like, visit him in prison, didn't write him. He had his son still in stereos, and he was, like, getting him off on money. He was getting off on that. And then when he got out, it took them down there to kill OG Bobby Johnson to him to recognize, okay, that scene when he was like, I'm going to give him something me and you both didn't have, a father. That's when he finally let it J-Rock go to his dad. So, man, no, nah, Ray Ray, Ray Ray was like, I don't know, man. He did, he do wasn't. Think, do you think the power just went to his head, though? No, nah, man, OG Bobby Johnson should have, man, he should have ran that group, man. Ray Ray was, Ray Ray was a slime ball. And then my uh, second one, I'll say Carol, which is the baby mom. She was a terrible parent. Mind you, she was on, I, I, I would be considerate, you know, she had the baby when he was in prison, so she probably went through a lot of, uh, you know, stress with that, but she's, a, you know what I'm saying, she was messing with Jeannie Lamp. Uh, I mean, for, for that matter, like, when he first got fresh out, she was coming out of Jeannie Lamp's room. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so she yeah, she yeah, visited yeah, him in prison, she, she ain't right, my boy Bobby. And then when they went to the, uh, they took the baby to the club. Like, what kind of parent is that, man? <laughs> you know what, what the fuck, Carol? You a terrible parent. And then when the uh, Ray Ray was like, man, send the bitches home. She got mad, whatever. And then she ended up having uh, Bobby Johnson keep the kid while they were on their little mission. So, yeah, you know. And then, no, no, no. The worst scene about her to make her even more of a slime ball. She, uh, remember she went to go visit him. And nurse, the nurse was like, hey, you don't want to see him? She's like, what's the point? He can't talk. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, so, man, don't, Ray Ray and Carol, the baby boy, was the worst two characters, man. They suck. All but right. you know what? Sad to say, though, like, you'll be surprised how many, like, uh, mothers are like that out there. Yeah, it's real. It's realistic, but for the sake of the movie and this review, you know, she got to get the she got to get the bad man. We gonna we gonna keep it moving because I'm gonna keep us under 15 minutes though. Let's talk about the realest scene. What scene you thought was just like the shift changer and that was like real? Okay, so mine is uh, uh, what's my man's name who's preaching the uh, OG Bobby Johnson when he went to prison? Oh, Ali. Yeah. So let's. My my ever seen is like he said he sat him down he was like I'm gonna preach and you gonna listen. Hey, he did get out. <laughs> he, <laughs> hey, I was scared. I was scared watching. Hey, it. <laughs> and right there, I felt like the whole you know everything you know shifted. Yeah. And that's when OG Bobby Johnson like started to, you know realizing yeah I got to get on the right path. You Got know some what I mean? sense. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. He was real lucky that he actually, uh, it was a blessing and a curse. Yeah. And going in there, though. That was shit. That was, that was real, man. I like that one. Uh, that was dead. That's the, you right on that one. One I'll say that stand out besides that one, because I agree with you on that, was when they had Bobby in the uh, room for questioning. And, like, they knew Bobby did that shit. Bobby didn't snitch. But when he brought his son in, and he was like, uh, you're going to miss out on his birthdays and all that. And then Bobby was holding his yeah. son, crying. And he knew, like, he was going to have to take this bid. And then, like, that kind of shifted. Because, like, once he went to prison, they showed his son growing up and that kind of shit like that. That was pretty deep, too. And what's more deep is, like, um, his son, you know, followed his shadow. You know what I mean? Pretty much, yeah. In the streets, you know what I mean? Sad to say that happens all the time. Yeah. And especially, I mean, his son didn't even know him personally. Yeah, so, and a mom wants shit. So, yeah, so. I respect those two scenes, man. I hate it when uh, his son got shot and he, um, they didn't give him time to, like, 
you know, process everything and like, you need dudes, you need dudes. Like, nigga, no, his son just got shot. He concerned and kicked my mans out, but that's a different, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and go to the funny part. This is probably the ending in our good transition. What was like two of the funniest scenes for you, man? Um, the fun, funniest <laughs> scenes for me, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go first on this one. All right, I, I see what you're doing here. It's a it's it's a couple, and like I find the subtle stuff that's funny, not like the obviously funny, but yeah. Uh, of course, when the uh, like uh, Ray Ray being not Ray Ray, but J Rob being all tough, like he didn't want to play tennis, and then the nurse Shelly ended up getting him to hunky ball, and when he left, he was like, "Yeah, I got pretty good at hunky ball. Like shut your ass up." Oh, um, that was funny. you know what I'm saying? Like that was funny. Uh, Cause he was trying to be too cool, like, yeah, man, get out there. Um, damn, there's so many funny things in this. Um, I'm gonna let you do it. You, you gotta admit that what we were saying about with the area brother is like what he was. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You've been waiting. Go ahead. No, no, no. That yeah, one funny. Uh, There's a lot of funny yeah. things that are just stupid stuff. Like when they pulled up on the police officers and like locals, like, damn, look at that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just the goof. Hey, Goofy, I got the rock. <laughs> yeah, snitching this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, snitching like a wood. Oh uh, man, and they was dumb too, man. Like left the evidence, left the gun, left the potato, sprayed deuce on the scene. And I thought it was funny too, like when uh, Genie Lamp died because he was like begging for his life. Like, Bobby, I don't deserve this. <laughs> Saw it all proper. I didn't think that was funny like that, though. But no, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not funny. It's supposed to be funny, but it's funny to me this. because it's like he was like talking about he was a big bad man, and he's like, Bobby, I don't deserve this. Yeah. Talking all proper and shit. Oh, man. Uh, of course, the scene, like, ain't nobody gonna be punking nobody. Like, nobody. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. part. Um, but I'll let you go now, man. That's just the ones that stood out. No, but moment. that's why I was letting you go because, like, we, we already talked about this, like, months and months. You know what I mean? We agree with the same thing. We find the same thing funny, so. Yeah. You pretty much nailed it on the head. Yeah. Um, but all around, like, to some this movie, movie up, uh, I, I feel like it was, uh, especially, it came in what? Out when? 92. 92 i feel like it it gave a strong message like um of how things were going in my opinion in the black household you know what i mean father go to prison yeah and not all you know what i mean like sad to say but it's the truth but right so i like how it depicts and who who uh directed this I don't know all that. We gotta look it up. We put it. I'll put it in the comments when I edit it, though, man. Okay. I thought it was uh, my man who uh, did uh, like Boys in the Hood. And all oh, that. not John Singleton, man. I want him. Hey, shout out to Genie Lamb, too. He might be my third favorite character in the movie. He was a smooth guy, though. He didn't even have a lot of lines. Up. Hey, that's he's smooth, though, man. He is about his business. Yeah. Um, yeah. Old man Willie Chester, uh, <laughs> I said it wrong probably. And overall, it's like you said, a good movie, man. It kind of like how it, uh, it it showed the fatherhood and then how it showed like the cycle. Bobby wanted to break the cycle of like you know his dad being in the gang and him being in the gang, and he wanted to save his son. So I think it captured that. It's a pretty good movie, man. Some of the acting is a little dramatic, like Loco and like the white Aryan dude, but in Ray Ray too, he sounded like Shakespeare a little bit. But overall. They, it was a good movie, man. I think we had a good review with that. Yeah. All right. Y'all go ahead, yeah. like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Let us know what y'all think about the movie. If you saw it, if you haven't seen it, go check the movie out. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's a man.